Welcome in this week, guys. We are doing... Bam! We are doing Leonardo da Vinci. Quick, easy little step-by-step -step of him. So I'm going to set him off to the side here. He'll probably be about the size of your fist on there. Before we get too far ahead here and get started, don't forget to hit the, hit the subscribe button. That is the easiest way to get all my free fun videos coming out every single week. Click the button and the bell on there to get the latest videos. Now let's get started. His head shape isn't really shown on here. Um, so I'm going to try to start with kind of the beard and the hat shape. He's got a little diagonal line on here so that's why i'm gonna start with the top that's kind of got a little curve to it that's gonna be his hat but and then a line that goes down on this side and a line that goes down on this side that's gonna curve over a little bit over a little bit this way and then as his beard goes to the front i guess um or up to his mustache it's kind of a line that goes up and a line that goes up and then right over across and those can be i guess a little bit wavy or bumpy doesn't have to be that perfect i'm gonna fill that in a little bit darker just so you can see it okay that looks nice he just has a straight face not really a mouth let me take a quick look here no, he does not have a mouth. I don't know if any of them really have mouths. You can add a mouth if you really want to, um, but it's just got a little, I'm gonna try to pick that little spot in here. So we'll do a bumpy line for his mustache, and then it goes down, and another bumpy line. He's got a pretty big beard to fill in there. And then for his nose, just a little triangle, kind of a line over here, and a little one going up, and then his big giant eyes one over here and one over here those will eventually be colored in in black probably leave a little bit of white inside of it we'll do eyebrows i always forget eyebrows this one's kind of tucked inside here but it kind of goes up and then down a little bit more full on the front and then tapers off a little bit same thing over here up and then down a little bit thicker and gets a little bit thinner guy's eyebrows are a little bit messy he's got a little messy eyebrows in there okay he's kind of looking like a zombie so let's get him looking like leonardo da vinci um this one comes down a little bit to a point so i'm going to try to pick that little point down there and then build it off of that it's all about the same size so i'm going to keep everything kind of on this like level down here i'm going to try to get to that little notch over here so I'm gonna do kind of some bumpy or kind of wavy lines a little squiggly line that goes up and same thing on the other side and then goes up and then that'll be his beard so that'll kind of follow up here but they'll all have those kind of little waves or a little texture in there that you can add this will start his hair so it kind of goes over and then down same thing over here over and then down as I'm looking at it, I'm going to pick apart some little waves that kind of flop and go all the way up to his hat. Right about there. Same thing over here. Goes down a little bit. It's actually a couple little bumps. And then waves right up to his hat. Okay, I like that. He's looking a little wizard-like now. And then for his hat or beret, it's kind of like an artist's hat, that will kind of loop on this side. It'll kind of curve around. Has a little brim. Goes all the way. Same thing over here. I have that little brim. So a curve this way. And then a curve this way. And this one also bumps out a little bit thinner. Not too much, but a little bit. And then kind of has some ruffles and kind of bumps over on the top. even add another one up on there nice i like that i'm gonna go over this in sharpie real quick and then keep thinking about what i can do for the background i mean his most famous picture of course is the mona lisa so maybe i'll have him drawing the mona lisa over here he kept always all his sketchbooks and notebooks so i'm going to try to put some of those he was just not only an artist um clearly one of the most like intelligent people like in the history of 
people. Um, he was an artist, a thinker, a scientist, an inventor, um, really, really just a- ambitious and r- really just liked learning and knowing about everything and always questioning how things worked and how things moved and how things so lived kind of entailed into his fame and him being one of the most famous artists and people in the world. So I'm going to go through this in Sharpie and still be thinking about what I can put in the background for that. So let's go through that real quick. Okay, cool. This looks really nice. I like how it turned out. Now I'm excited for the background. I'm not done yet. So I'm going to get my book out here of Leonardo da Vinci into one of my favorite sections where he does all of his sketching and doodling and drawing. There's just tons and tons of pictures of all of his little sketches and doodles, um, machines, inventions that he created. Um, but that's what I really like about him because as an artist myself, I love sketching and drawing and that's how I get better at those certain things. So I'm going to take this and turn it into... All right, ready? Bam! There it is. So cool. I'm really happy, really, really happy with how it turned out and how the background fit in. I tried to fit all of his little uh, isms that kind of make him, him, the little Last Supper sketch up there. Of course, Mona Lisa down there. Some little inventions, did his little name in cursive, some human anatomy and eyeballs in there, um, and a little science and mathematics in there, all wrapped into who is Leonardo da Vinci. Um, just a great, great mind and thinker. So as always, I am Mr. Shooty. This is Mr. Shooty's art class. We'll talk to you guys later.